turn, I'm feeling like two. It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Carlson has his teed up, ready to get started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Play action now, Prescott. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. We talk all the time about playmakers on offense, but let's face it, there are plenty of playmakers on defense, too. I think we just saw an example of one, didn't we? Not force that incompletion. Yeah, he's a great corner. They got a couple of them on that side of the football. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Now Prescott. Drops this underneath for Pollard. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive is its fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. Six-foot-four-inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first-round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. 
to pass. Here's Jordan Love. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, another shot for Jones. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Here's third and three. To throw now, here's Love. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys will take over possession here up at the 44. You've got to know as a quarterback that's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position. And he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. Following the interception, here's Prescott. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. And a nice gain and a, and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Prescott now. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And Lamb going to have a Cowboys first down as he'll get this down to the 40. It's a pickup of six. Scott looks to throw on first. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And he's got it inside the 10. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Well, obviously they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. And it's caught on the deflection. And this is going to be a touchdown. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's you create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7 nothing Cowboys. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from CeeDee Lamb.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now going to bring it out of his end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. From the 24 now, here's a second and eight. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff. And when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't. But also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the stream the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. Now a first down carry by Jones. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield too. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. And tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Love looking to throw it. That's complete to Wicks. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. But the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Well, he's going to go for it all. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Kavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's second and seven. Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. The result, only four yards there on the play. And now it's third and three. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Third and three. Three. 
Here's Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. A first down throw for Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. And again, it's Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Here's second and three. Prescott to throw it. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Second down and four. Prescott yet again. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Now Prescott. And he is caught. And he will have a Cowboys first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half.
So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was the veteran quarterback, Dak Prescott, who had it working in the first half. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Ten nothing is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. Nixon now from his end zone, and he's up past the twenty to the twenty-two yard line. The Packer offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. 48 yards rushing for him now to this point. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From the 31, here's second and a couple. On play action, love to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So the incomplete pass there, but the roughing the passer call bails them out. Which means you have to stay on the field on defense longer because you've given the offense free snaps, not to mention the free yardage after that mistake. After the penalty, it's Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Love now. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. I have to tell you, Brandon, I feel like a coach right now because I'm wondering why the angle route continues to be so effective when as an inside linebacker, you're always taught, don't let someone cross your face. If they want to go outside, it's okay. But they make that outside fake, cut back inside, off into great success. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now second and three. Play fake. Here's Love. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 22-yard line. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. On first and 10, Love. Got Dobbs over the middle. And it's a Packers touchdown! Romeo Dobbs. 
A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. So it took them a little while, Charles, but now they have their first points of the game and they come here in this third quarter. And more often than not, Brandon, when that happens, you find yourself down 21, 28 points and not really with a lot of hope, but with that touchdown, they're right back in this game. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. That time, a six-play drive. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's Prescott. He's letting it fly for Cooks. That's caught inside the 20. A big play here for Dallas. 44 yards. He just had the feeling that sooner or later someone was going to come up with that one play. Neither team has really done a whole lot offensively, but here's one that pays off to the tune of big yardage, and it's one that could maybe get this group in gear. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Throwing, Prescott. He gets it to Cooks. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. He'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jake Ferguson, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are able to extend their lead. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to draw up those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now on the return. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? 
First down, going to the air with Love. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, that's a defense coordinator. has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. Love going to give this one to Jones. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Love. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. On the out route, Dobbs brings it in. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. From the 44-yard line, here's second and two. Now Love. He has it complete to Christian Watson. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. To the air again, Love. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and ten. Throwing. Love. Caught by Jones. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On third down, Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. And that goes for a gain of 31. They absolutely had to take some chances downfield trailing here in the fourth quarter. So why not go four verticals, send the guys downfield, say make a play? And that's one of the favored routes of offensive coordinators. You know why? Because receivers can be open at any point running that. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Romeo Dobbs, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. 
The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. And it fights through one man. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. He got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Going to run again here with Pollard. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll come up now, third and three. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well, there was a trust factor in that call. Turning and handing it to the big man in the backfield trying to pick up the first down. But how about the defense? They were ready for him, and they were able to stop him. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Here's Nixon. This taken in right around the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here's Love and the Packers. Down 20 to 14. A little under a minute to go. 
They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten. Here's Love. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this one is incomplete. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, you may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. The clock stopped. 50 seconds to play. Second and ten. Love looking to throw it. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting in there and bringing him to the ground. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.